Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV. We got beeping and stuff going on all over the place. And I've got a very short amount of time to do a really quick video. So here's how it's gonna go. Um, I had a customer that's wanting to know how to hook up the R9MM, the FrySky R9MM long range receiver, uh, to a uh, F4 board and allow for telemetry and allow for RSSI feedback uh, and, and so forth. So I'm gonna do this very quickly uh, and try to show you guys, which is kind of not the norm for me, um, but I'm gonna split screen uh, the following. All right, so here we go. So on the table, what you see here is a, um, this is a uh, uh, Airbus F4 uh, uh, board from HDLRC. This is a R9MM with the inverted S port on the bottom. And um, uh, I've already wired it up, okay? So I'm gonna try to zoom in where I can and see if I can show you guys what we've done, okay? So on this board right here, uh, what you can see is I've got the S bus, the five volt and the ground run. And then I've got the bottom S port here, run to TX number three on the board here. Okay, I know it's a little blurry, but that's where it's run and that's what you need to keep in mind. So you have two S ports here. And when they did the new um, uh, R9MM, this is the new port here on the bottom. And this would be the, well, it's the, it's kind of weird to say it. So it's the inverted inverted port, which makes it uninverted. I don't know. I can, I can never, all I can tell you is, it's kind of awkward here the way they the way they word it. But let me see if I can put this here for you. So if you can just look at that picture real quick and let me see something here for you. So I can kind of explain this a little bit better and get the screen ready. So, um, uh, all right, so let me make sure I've got this here. Uh, yeah, okay, so we are ready to go. So let me go ahead and split this back. And there we go. All right, so sorry, I wanted to make sure I had everything ready in beta flight. Okay, so this is how it's wired. But now here, this part's easy, right? So what's what's not what what's kind of tricky, I guess, or can be tricky, is getting it programmed in beta flight. So here's what I've got. I, now that you've seen this, I'm not going to worry about that as much. Now it's time to worry about the controller. Let me zoom out. All right, and how to set up in beta flight. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to beta flight, and I've got to tell it in my ports. This first spot is I'm going to tell it you are one. I know UART1 is my SBUS UART, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on under serial RX, right? And then I cannot use the TX at that point, so UART3, which is where I use the TX pad, I'm going to set that up for smart port. That's the first thing you guys have to do is make sure you set up UART1 or whatever UART it is for your SBUS and do not put your telemetry on that, okay? So separate it to another TX pad, right? When you connect, now you should see it look like this, ports. UART1 is the... Um, uh, SBUS, and then I have smart port selected for UART3. With that done, go to configuration. In configuration, I don't care about anything else here. All these are not even set up. What I do care about is make sure to go to your receiver and put your serial based receiver and make sure to put SBUS. All right. And then when you come down here, make sure to turn on telemetry and click save. There, that's step number two. All right. Now, when you connect back to this, right, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my QX7 right now. Now, this is bound already. I've already done this, so we don't have to sit here and watch this. So let me get to this point. Okay. When I go and I'm gonna hold the menu button, sorry, I'm gonna press the menu button and I'm gonna hold the page button down twice, and here we go. This is my telemetry screen on my QX7, right? So right now, if I tell it to, I want it to discover new sensors, and I'm gonna let it start running, and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see it discover a couple, right? These are a couple dinky ones. These are, there's nothing really big happening here. These are standard little things, right? But what you're, what you're trying to do is while it's trying to discover new sensors, and let me make sure I've got everything set up here. Okay, so it's. It's discovering right now because the stop discovery is, is what's shown on the screen. So it's trying to discover new sensors. And I'm going to go ahead and flip on my uh, my board real quick. Okay, so here goes. So these are the sensors that it's got right now. Okay, and everything looks good here. The reason it does is because the settings have to be like this. By default, this is how the settings are. Go to your CLI and type set, TLM, and hit enter, right? And the one thing, the things that you want to look at are the following. Okay, uh, now if you look here, you see how there's nothing, now you don't see any stars here populating, right? There's nothing populating, there should be. It's, it's, supposed, to be, uh, it's supposed to be moving and it's not. The only That's ones that are best. moving are these two right here, okay? Look at your screen there and it says, set TLM underscore inverted equals off, right? Okay, well, we're gonna change that. What we wanna do is we wanna say set, let me move this out of the way, set TLM underscore inverted equals on. And now I'm gonna click save. Okay, now watch your, watch my transmitter. Watch all the little stars start popping up. And all of a sudden, we are now getting updates. Okay, so trick number one or key number one is make sure you set inverted to equal on. All right, 
Uh, and that is how you can do that one. Now, the next part, and we're going to connect back to Betaflight, if you go to your CLI and you say um, set TLM, you're going to see where it says half duplex. Leave half duplex on. For right now, leave it on. Everything is doing just fine as it's supposed to. Okay? So we're going to exit. Okay? And we're going to let it restart. And there we go. We're going to start seeing our stuff populate here, right? And we're getting all the information. The VFAS is going to be our battery, and I control it here with the DC current. So I'm going to turn down the V. I'm going to turn down the battery current, and watch what happens. I'm going to turn it up. See how it's moving, and I'm going to turn it down. Okay. Now, one thing that you're going to notice here is the next part is so now that you have your telemetry working. Now you can play with this. You can set TLM uh, inverted off and see if that works for you. If you're not getting results like I'm getting, switch the on and off on your uh, telemetry being inverted. See if that helps you. Uh, the next thing you want to do, the next thing he wants to do is he wants to get his RSSI out onto the flight controller, right? So here's what you're going to do. Log into your, uh, log into your um, flight controller, go to your CLI, and type the following. Set RSSI underscore channel equals 16, and hit save. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you. Now, you're going to see this here because we're going to need to look at the screen. So let's connect. All right. You see how you have your RSSI here? Uh, when you go to your receiver tab, you want to go ahead and make sure it says auxiliary 12 is selected and you're going to see auxiliary 12 bouncing like crazy and i need to change this because this is the wrong setup uh let me go ahead and i can't i can't seem to change it for whatever reason but uh, don't worry about that part the uh, auxiliary 12 is right here and that is telling me that my rssi if i go to my setup my rssi is 66. well if i look at my rssi here it says it's at 80. so we have well it's a little different on the screen it's 74 and so we're going to try to get these as close as possible to do that go to your cli and type set rssi and hit enter and you're going to see this one thing that says scale so type set rssi underscore scale equals just put 110 start small click save now let's see if your rssi matches okay so when you connect again and you look at your rssi here now you're at 72 and i'm at 78 not 80 actually we're at 80 and 80. look at that we're getting close 78 78 we are exactly on point Okay, now if I move this, the screen will now say 72, and you know what? It's adjusting perfect. So look, uh, watch my screen, 76, and watch the screen there, 78. It's going to move, and we're going to be right in line with each other probably within a, a, a couple points or so, and that is perfect for me. I have no complaints on that at all, but this is how we're going to get these to match, and that is how you're going to get to RSSI. So when you go to your OSD and you tell it you want RSSI value, um, you could tell to display that it'll actually pass that through and put it on your screen right there. Click save and you're done. All right, guys, that is the fastest. Uh, I think I've, it's the fastest I think I've ever done a video. Uh, and it's because I'm trying to get to my son's football game. But uh, I hope that helps you guys. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, hit me up, let me know. Uh, but that's how you do it. All right, guys, I appreciate you. God bless. Stay fine.